All right, so today what we're doing is we're making these eyelets. But since these things are kind of expensive, we're going to do it a different way. And uh, what we're going to do first, though, is we're going to trim this cable. So we're going to trim it back to about here. We're just going to roll it. We get a good cut all the way through it. This way a little bit. There we go. All right. And then you're just going to grab it. And we're going to turn it. We're going to turn it slowly. Because we want it to twist the wire. And it's a pretty heavy gauge. So we just want to turn slowly. And eventually it will start to turn itself. And pull itself off. But we're going to hold on to it and then that's what you want it to look like right there rolled off perfectly so this one's going to be a perfect wire now we just need a we need an eyelet since they're expensive well more expensive than I want to spend what we ended up doing was we got uh, some copper coil this is a standard uh, 3 8 copper coil so it's just flexible copper coil what we're going to do let's straighten this out a little bit we're going to get us a little piece of this let's see here all right let's go about an inch and a half. Now we're gonna spin it, turn, spin, turn, spin, turn, spin, turn, spin. And there you go. There's your eyelet. We're not done with it yet though. So in order to kind of get the end ready, we're gonna choose one end. Got our pliers, we'll hold it right here. Let's see, let's do this in. This end looks best. So that one's already kind of done. Got ourselves some needle nose, because I don't have a thing to flare it. And we're gonna flare it by hand. Some needle nose. That'll open it right up so it's nice and open. Let's see, you can see that side compared to that side. Open it right up. So what we're going to do now is take a large screwdriver and basically work it on there. Might need to uh, tap it in place a little bit. There we go. That's all we need. So now we're just going to lay it on here. We'll go about this far here. Take that same hammer. We're going to flatten down the end like so. Now you got an eyelet, but now we got to drill a hole for the eye. Now, this is the part that's the hardest because if you go too fast, you're going to end up cutting the eye up. I could have gone with thicker um, or, or bigger gauge copper, but the soft copper. Is easier to work with. So what we're going to do with this now is we're going to take our drill. And you got to be careful when you're doing it because the copper gets hot too. So we're going to stick it right here and then get it nice and even. We're going to do bursts pretty much. Oh, are you going the right way? You'll feel it grab when you feel it grab the first time. You want to stop, kick it in reverse, do that. What we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, still in reverse. Flip it back over, still in reverse.
got yourself a perfect eyelet. Now there, it is still kind of rigid and sharp. But that's not gonna matter because once you put it on the battery and you screw that terminal down on there, it's gonna flatten it back out. So we're not really worried about it. But if you are, you can take a pair of pliers, just kind of flatten it out as best as you can. Like so. And there you go. Got yourself an eyelet. Grab it. Work it off here. You got yourself an eyelet. So what we're going to do now is that nice piece that we spun off that's really nice and wound should slide right on it. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to knock all the excess off. Flip it over. Put it down on the ground here. Get this kind of evened up. And we take our hammer. Flatten out the other end. Sometimes it'll push away a little bit. It'll be alright. It's in there good. It's not going to go anywhere. I'll flatten it out. So you got yourself a pretty flat piece now. And then you can take heat shrink or whatever you want. I'm going to use electrical tape. And we're going to tape the end there. And that's how we're going to cut our wire shorter. for our battery bank. If I had the money I would go ahead and buy the eyelets and do it right, but we'll have plenty of wire left over for later if I ever get the money to do it. And we'll do that. Because I took uh, I think like two wires so far I've done half the bank. So that's pretty much it. So I need this one and one more. And we're done. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's this one and this one. <laughs> and uh, that's it. That's how you make an eyelet. All right.